psycho kept you out of the shower. Jaws kept you out of the water. And what the Ken's 5 Eye team just uncovered might keep you out of the movie theater. It had fecal contamination on the floor. And not just there. Also had some fecal contamination, unfortunately, on the headrest. Kind of scary, huh? Yeah, it's fresh. The next time you sit down in your favorite movie theater, you'll think twice. Because you can get sick. Yep, you can get sick. Tonight at 10 on Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. You don't want to miss what the Ken's 5 Eye team found inside local theaters next. Now, Ken's 5, Eyewitness News at 10. We plans this weekend? After what the Ken's 5 Eye team just found, you might think twice before sitting down in your favorite theater. It had some fecal contamination, unfortunately, on the, bat, on the headrest. And not just there. Coming up in 60 seconds. There are nearly 40,000 movie screens across the country, each with hundreds of seats in front of it. And this year alone, a billion and a half tickets will be sold to sit in them. But what are you going to be sitting on? And how clean are those theaters and the seats? We sent the I-team's Ross Palumbo to... The holiday movie season. This is Playing out on dozens of screens across San Antonio. But... Would you like to see something strange? The adventure may not just be up on the big screen. For the story that you are about to be told. There is another story playing out in every seat, across every aisle, on every headrest, from every cup holder. This is Halloween. And to see what characters were acting on this stage. This is a transport swab. We needed the expert performance of the UT Health and Science Center's Annette Fothergill. This is how they do their surface test. So this is very accurate. Yes. The I-team carried clinical swabs into four theaters. In the north, we bought a ticket to no reservations at the Palladium. And before the film even started cooking, we swabbed the seat headrests, cup holders, seat backs, even the floors. Downtown, at the River Center Theater, we investigated everything from the seats to the headrests. I'm at the Alamo Draft House. We once again sampled several similar areas. All three of these are from the headrest. Then the lab gave us its review. Yeah, I'm mean, surprised that there is so much here at the palladium everyone thinks it's the nicest is right. it the cleanest no it's not the lab found common but old on the headrest seat back and cup holder but that's not all we also had fecal contamination on the floor fecal bacteria like this at the river center quite a bit of growth the lab once again reported some common molds but this time it found some common and it says harmless bacteria on the seat back and cup holder and here too it found fecal bacteria on the floor horrible that is indication of fecal contamination and so, so could you that make you sick yes sure at the mayan palace this one is um a yeast once again, the lab found common fungi and mold. And once again, it found fecal bacteria, this time on the headrest. The floor, like I could say, okay, people stepped in something and walked in, but on your headrest, that means I really think that people don't wash their hands. Santico says it does steam clean its seats on a quarterly basis and performed that service the first week of October. That was, though, after our test and after we spoke to this employee. Yes. Do you think there's a lot of bacteria on those seats? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You wouldn't be surprised, yeah. even though it's your job to clean them? Yeah. This is a mold. Are you choice of favorite theater, Alamo Job Talk? But on our small screen, most theater goers were still surprised to see a sampling of what was performing at some theaters. Actually, it's disgusting. <laughs> That's gross. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. That's pretty horrible. Wasn't it terrifying? The theater sideshow may be a little concerning. But the results were from just one day, just one showing. Ah, what's that? Just one microscopic set of actors, hopefully performing just one limited engagement. Is the horror show just on the screen? No, it's gross. Our results, but it 